Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and secure your LightSail instance with a free SSL certificate. Uh, we're going to do this today using the BN Cert tool. Um, it's going to be a pretty quick video. It's just a couple of commands that we need to run. And we're basically going to be following the documentation that's actually laid out here from, um, from Amazon as well. So it's super simple. I'll leave a link to this this page below in the, in the description below so you can um, refer to it if you get stuck or you run into any issues that aren't covered here in the video. Uh, but essentially, if you're following along from one of my previous videos on how to connect your domain name to a light sale instance, then you should have no problem uh, going forward. All right, so I've actually already got SSL set up on both these sites here, but the steps are really, really gonna be the same. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is set up a new terminal session. Once you've you know, got to your light sale portal here like I have, just uh, yeah, set up a new terminal session and then this will open up in the background here. And then all we have to do guys from here is literally just type in sudo slash opt slash bitnami slash bnsert dash tool. And then once this comes back, you should see something similar to this. Now, you might have actually just got a different message that said something about you have to download this tool or do you want to download an update. Just say yes to that, it should it should download and then rerun that command that we just did. So, once you're here and you've downloaded it, all you have to do is just enter the domains that you want to uh, cover with your SSL certificate. So, all you really need to do is your root domain with www and then without it. So for me, it would be like this. So www.dotto.com.au uh, and then space, and then .o.com.au, just like that. Return. That's gonna think about it for a second. Uh, so now you want here to enable and disable redirection. So we want to enable HTTP to go to HTTPS instead. So we say yes to that. Enable non www to www redirection. We say yes to that as well. And then we don't want to say yes to this one. So if people type in www, we don't want to redirect them to a non www. So once you've done that, just review your settings that you've configured and then agree to the changes. All right, cool. So now it has provided me the domain list that I've specified and it's come back with my server name. And now you have to give it a valid email address for for you to um, basically create a free certificate with the provider who is Let's Encrypt. And then just agree to the Let's Encrypt subscriber agreement. And why wouldn't you? It's a free SSL certificate. <laughs> now this might take a moment to spin up while it does the necessary changes. Once that's done, you should get to this screen here. And then, if you have no issues, just return to continue. And then you're back at the command prompt. And that is literally it, guys. So, if you exit here, close that off. So then, if we navigate to our site, um, you'll actually notice that we have this public IP. Now, this is something we could have put onto uh, the SSL certificate, but I want to showcase something. So, this public IP here, or this static public IP that we have is actually not covered by the SSL certificate. So if I go to here, you can see the connection is not private. Um, and of course I can proceed, but I have this warning, right? So that IP was not specified and therefore it is not covered by the SSL certificate, uh, which is what is giving us back this, you know, browser error. So Going to this one though, if I go dotto.com.au, you can see over here, the top left, connection is secure. Uh, that, that is basically it guys, so uh, yeah, I hope you learned something from this today. If you do get stuck, um, just review the Amazon provided documentation. Something I have noticed for myself when setting this up initially for the first time was that I wasn't able to run the BN cert tool uh, on the free tier so I had to have I had to I had the the $5 minimum option per month 
Um, this might be doing. This might have something to do with the memory or something like that. I'm not sure, but that is just something I encountered and something you might want to be mindful of as well. So, so that wraps it up, guys. I hope you learned something today. Consider subscribing for future videos. Thanks.